I'll just jump right into it. The first thing that I'm gonna be using is this e.l.f. Um, primer Mist. I love this stuff. It's about $8, and it's a newer product from e.l.f., and I find that when I use this before using any primer or foundation, it just gives my skin a really hydrated look and um, helps my foundation not become cakey when I apply it. So I love, love using this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz this on my face really quick. It feels so good. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be taking is my Angel Veil Primer from NYX. And I'm going to be mixing that with this um, True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. I'm going to drop a pinch of this into my primer. And it gives the skin, again, a really glowy look. That's what we're going for for this Valentine's Day look. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be taking for the skin is foundation, and I'm going to be using my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. I love this stuff. It's long-lasting, and it just gives the best coverage. I'm a full coverage queen. I love having flawless, poreless-looking skin, so I'm going to use this and apply it with this Duo Fiber Brush and stipple this into my skin. Okay, so before I go in with my concealer, lately I've been using this NYX Dark Circle Corrector before I'm putting on my concealer and highlighting, and I'm really noticing a difference in how my highlighter and concealer is looking. And I will take it right underneath my eye. So now I'm gonna go with my favorite concealer, and I'm gonna be using the Heart Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the color light medium. I'm going to be highlighting under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and my forehead. All right, then I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend this out. Now I'm going to go in and bake my under eye area. Like I said, I want a really highlighted look, so I am going to bake my concealer, and this will help make sure that it um, stays all night. You won't have to worry about your concealer moving if you do bake. So I'm using the Airspun Loose um, Powder to do this. And that same damp beauty blender. Every time I do this, I really think I look ridiculous, but I'm like, it Honey, it works, so we gonna do it. So any place that I highlighted, especially the middle of my face, I'm gonna bake as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do my brows really quick. I have a confession to make and might shock some of you, but brows are my least favorite part of makeup. I said it, I did it, I said it. Let me tell you why. I absolutely love when I fill in my brows. It's something that I feel like I do almost every day now. My sister introduced me to the importance of eyebrows when I was a senior in high school. It just completely frames your face and looks beautiful. However, I have become a perfectionist when it comes to eyebrows, which if you do your brows, you know that's just never gonna happen. Your brows are never gonna match. They're cousins. They can even be distant cousins twice removed. They're never gonna be identical twins and your girl has an issue with that. I cannot get it through my head. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. So I'm making a pledge that for this look, I'm gonna do my brows and I'm just gonna let it be. I'm gonna do my brows and I'm gonna let it be. I promise. And I do my bottom line first, so I brush my brows up. Oh, by the way, this is the Anastasia Brow Definer in Ebony. And I'm going to draw a line underneath my brows. Boom. Then I'm gonna brush my brows down. Then I'm gonna draw a line on top. Then 
and I'm going to brush my brows into place and start filling in the front and some sparse areas that we have back here. go in and now dust away this powder that we had setting. So next we are going to go into the eyeshadow which I'm really excited about and I'm going to be first taking my painterly paint pot from MAC to act as an eyeshadow base. And then I'm just going to dip a fat um, shader brush into that Airspun Translucent Powder, just a little bit of whatever's left in my um, cap to just set this. Okay, so now that we are nice and close, I want to show you what palette we're using today. Okay, so the first color I'm going to take is this color here, Warm Taupe. I'm going to put this in my transition area with a fluffy blending brush. Okay, so I'm just going to go into this transition area and lightly start working this into that area. Using windshield wiper and circular motions to really work this. In. I'm actually gonna go um, into this color raw sienna really quick and put that right on top to kind of add a little bit of warmth to that transition area. Next, I'm gonna go into this color called Buon Fresco. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my crease area. I am using a, this is from my Naked Smoky eye palette. It came with it and it has like a more tapered blending brush that I'm gonna use. Once again, super pigmented, so I'm gonna tap that off and then go right in below that color that we just applied. And then I'm gonna go and take that um, same fluffy blending brush that we used before with no more product on it and just blend this color in. Okay, so next is the fun part. I am going in with the color Love Letter. Right here, we're gonna put this all over our lid. Now I will say when I've worked with this color before to really get the pigment I want, I will have to go over it probably one more time just to make sure it's really rich. But it's a beautiful, beautiful color, so I'm gonna dip in my brush one more time. And go over it again. Next, I'm gonna go with this blending brush that's a little more loosely packed with the bristles and diffuse this color into the crease. With the same brush, I'm gonna dip into that blonde fresco color that we used and run this right And you can see how it starts to create this gradient effect from the hot pink into the purple and the brown. I'm gonna go in again with that um, shader brush and kind of just pack this pink color back on a little bit. Working between that purple shade and this hot pink shade. I'm gonna go in with that fluffy blending brush again. I'm not using money brushes, so I'm trying to keep it easy for you. I'm gonna kind of blend all of this out. And under my brow, I'm gonna go in with this color Tempora. And I'm going to put this underneath my brow bone.
Okay, now I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. My lash curler is super dirty, sorry. And the mascara I'm gonna be using is this Super Sizer Fiber Mascara from CoverGirl. I'm just gonna do a quick coat of this. So before I finish the bottom lash line, I'm going to dip into my lash lookbook from Ardell. My sister got this for Christmas. And I think I'm going to use these 120 lashes here. These fluttery, pretty lashes. And then I'm gonna use my Duo Lash Adhesive in the dark tone to apply them. So while I'm letting that lash glue dry before I add a darker shadow to the lash band, I'm going to take that warm taupe color, the first color that we used in our transition area, and run that underneath my eye. Next I'm going in with this definer brush and I'm going to take Love Letter, that hot pink color that we used, and run this right along my lash line. end up like so. Then I'm going to go back in with that smudger brush one more time and take that one fresco color, that mauve purple color, and run that right underneath the color that we just did. Right underneath Love Letter. To kind of smoke that out a bit. So I'm just gonna go back into that definer and take this darkest color in the palette, it's called Cypress Umber. I'm just gonna run that right along my top lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with my super slim liner and I'm going to tight line. This is like not cute, so sorry <laughs> you have to watch this. This is to just fill any spaces that I have, especially between my lashes and the false lashes. Then I'm going to finish off the eyes with one coat of mascara on my top lashes to kind of blend my natural lashes and the falsies. Pretty much concentrating on the ends of the false lashes, not really putting product at the root of those. Okay, then I'm going to go in to my bottom lashes and I'm going to get some mascara. Now I'm gonna zoom you guys out a little bit and we'll finish up the skin and this makeup look. So to finish off the skin, I'm first gonna go in my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep and my MAC um, 133 brush to add some warmth to my skin. So next I'm gonna go in with a blush. I'm using the Palladium Matte Blush in the color Bayberry and a small blush brush to work this into my cheeks. Next, I'm gonna go in and highlight my skin. I'm using the Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette in Boozy Brunch. I'm gonna use just this e.l.f. I think this was one of their concealer brushes, but I love it because I can get um, pretty precise in here, so I'm gonna go in here, and I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. Like, hi! Oh, okay. Yes! Cupid's bow. I should make sure lips look bigger when you do that. So I wasn't sure what lipstick I wanted to do with this look. You could definitely do a nude or a light pink, but I decided to do something a little different. I'm going to go with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Sagittarius. It's like a mauve pinky, purpley color. This is awesome because it's transfer proof, you know, whether you're kissing your man, your dog, your cat, I don't know, whatever it is you're kissing, you won't have lipstick come off, so that's phenomenal. It's a nice little doe foot applicator. I'm just going to go ahead and add this on. Wow, 
While we're letting this dry, I'm just gonna go in and highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna take this color Vermeer from the palette and put this right in my inner corner. All right, well that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of sexy, sultry, hot pink eye for Valentine's Day. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. Let us know if there are any tutorials that you would like us to do and we would love to do them for you. Thanks so much for your support, guys. See you next time. Bye.